my name is Avery, and welcome to the fourth episode of my game development tutorial series where we will be making a game using SDL2 and C++. In today's episode, we'll be covering how to add font and text to our window. So the first thing we want to do is go and get our actual TTF file, which we're using for the font. So on Google, you can just search Sans TTF, and I'll go ahead and add this in the description as well. You want to collect the font squirrel. You want to click on that website, click download TTF, and then it'll have a zip file. The one that we're mainly interested in is going to be this Open Sans regular font. So what we're going to want to do is save this, and when we save it, or want to move that that one single file, the regular file, to our game directory. So, what, what was that called? Open Sans. So, I, right here with it, you can go ahead and move it into the game directory. So now you have it, and we'll just go ahead and rename that, and we'll just call it Sans TTF, and that's all we need for that. So now that we have our actual font file, we're going to be able to load it in. So to get started, we're going to want to create a function for writing. So we'll just call it void and draw. And in the draw function, we're going to need a, a constant character. And this will be the message. And that's what we're drawing to the screen. And now we're going to want our coordinates to where to draw it. And then we also want our color of the font. And that's everything we need for that. Actually, we can go ahead and add size. So that'll be the size in the message. So now we're going to go ahead and create this function. So the first thing we want to do is create a surface. And we'll just call this surface surf. And now we're also going to want to create a texture. And Now that we have these, we can actually load in our font. So we're, we're by doing that by creating a font called font. And you do TTF open font. And then it'll be um, the sans.ttf. So it's whatever you called it. Or if you have one already on a computer, just link it to that. And then we'll do the, si the font size. It'll just be size. And we also wanted an asterisk over here. Okay, and now we're going to want to create the color. So let's call it SDL color. And we'll call the actual thing color. And we'll need to set them. So color red equals red, color green equals green, and color blue equals blue. And now there's also an alpha. So for the transparency, we'll set that completely solid. Um, if you wanted to, you can make it so you can also have a switch for this. So you can add it up here so people can edit that. And now we need a rectangle to say where we want to draw the object. So before we set the size of the rectangle, we need to create a surface from the image and the text. So we can figure out what the size of the rectangle needs to be. So the surface will be TTF render. Um, uh, render text solid. And the first thing you want to do is put in the font, put in the message, and then put in the color. Now we're going to want to set the texture from the surface. So the texture, um, which we call text, will be SDL create surface. Oh, no, this is my bad. Create texture from surface and what you want to pass into this is going to be the render and the surface and now from there we can set the rectangle size so the rectangle X will be the X and the rectangle Y will be the Y that we passed in and the width it calculates from the size and the size of the surface so the surface will just do this and I guess the width, and then the same thing for the height. So it's going to be surf, and then it's height. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and actually draw the surface. But actually, right before that, let's we'll delete, let's we'll remove some of the things to save up memory. So it'll be free surface. 
and this is going to just pass on the surface and now we can we'll destroy the texture but we're not to draw in between it so oh my bad destroy texture and then in between these is when we'll actually draw it so we'll do XDL render copy if you use this copy X like we did before you'll, you'll need another parameter you'll need the actual piece that the source crops out of so it'll basically be the same width and height we you need a rectangle set to zero zero on the coordinates but then that would allow you to also set the angle to the text but we're not going to be doing any of that so we don't we can just STL render copy so for this we're going to want to pass in the render and then we're going to want to pass in the texture and then we can pass in a null for this right here and then we need to pass in the rec reference to the rectangle so that's everything we need to do for this draw function and now before we actually test out it we need to s initialize it so we can just do TTF in it and then we also need to quit it at the very end so TTF quit so now we can actually test out drawing something so we'll just do draw and now we can say this is our first message and now we need the location so we can just do 20 30 and the color can be blue our background is red so our color will be blue and the size will be 24 so now when rent when compiling it this is what we initially used but now we need to add one more library and this is the font library and it's gonna, so it's just gonna be like this so SDL 2 TTF now let's compile it okay let's see what we did wrong um, yeah, okay so there's one last thing we also need to include it right in here and then it, um, okay and then we also need to make sure the draw function is part of a game. Okay, now that's all done. Let's try it out. Boom. This is our first message. See, here it goes. So it's as simple as that. You can go ahead and play with it. You can try your own things. And that's how to draw to the screen with a text. Um, the next episode, I'm recovering input. And then once that's done, we'll have a, basically every single small thing set up so then we can actually get fully started with making our own full-fledged game. Before we go, I'm going to show you one last thing. I created this GitHub page. It's a repository of the code. This right now is the current code from episode 3. There's going to be different releases. So I'm going to set it up so then there will be a release for every single episode so you can go back and check out the code. And I'll apply additional instructions to the readme file once I'm done. Thanks you guys for watching. I'm not sure when the next episode will be coming out, but it'll probably just be in the next few days. Like I said, it's going to be covering input. Um, and I hope the rest of you guys have a great day. Okay, bye.